So I did it again. I bought another bike off Facebook Marketplace that I didn't really need. It is a Raleigh Capri 2.0, obviously a ladies bike, 48 centimeters, so pretty small. But I've been riding it for the past couple of days and it actually fits me okay, fine. Maybe a bit small, but I kind of like the bikes smaller. Um, paid $80 for this, so not like a super good deal or nothing, but not too bad. The main reason I wanted it though is because I wanted to try aero bars. I want to do some long distance riding and I thought it would be nice to have a place for my elbows to rest. Unfortunately, I didn't notice this until I got it home. But one of the pads, not exactly the pad, but the, uh, the the actual part that you put your elbow on, it's it's broken. So somebody did a crude uh, fix of it and it does work and it just feels not quite right. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think you might be able to buy a replacement part, but I'm not sure if I'll do that or try to fix it on my own. The other thing I don't really love about it, and by the way, these are the uh, Profile Design Airstrike S uh, aero bars. The other thing I don't like about them so far though is they do rattle. When they're up and you're riding on bumps, you can just hear it just rattling. So I'm not sure if I can adjust that spring, maybe somehow make it stronger so it's always, see it's not moving like that, but actually pushing up. That might fix it. Let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced these. But it's kind of a good uh, design idea, I think, because it allows you to get your hands up on the tops uh, while you have these uh, aero bar aero bars mounted and of course when you need to use them you just put your elbows down and, and it actually works good I have been using it I need to adjust it a little bit it's, it needs to be it is adjustable so the actual bar you can move forward and backward I need to move it forward it's a little too cramped but otherwise it actually work functionally works really nice um, so I need to mess with that but I'm gonna actually they won't be on this bike it's for another bike so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and start seeing what I can do about fixing those two issues but anyway, the other thing that I wanted the parts off it was this nine speed brifter setup, nine by three. Um, I didn't know it, but this one's this uh, front one is it's totally locked up, so it's not able to shift at all. But that's probably not a big deal. You know, I'm always going one by. But anyway, I wanted to take these off and actually do what everybody recomm didn't recommend on the GT, and that is put these on there. So uh, kind of the recommendation I heard from a lot of people was to make this some kind of cruiser or put a basket on it, that type of style, which it kind of is now, um, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I think I might actually go ahead and drop bar it just for fun. That's just what I want to do. I don't know why. So anyway, I figured, okay, I'm getting drop bar. Uh, excuse me. I'm getting, well, I'm getting the drop bars, plus I'm getting the rifters, plus I'm getting an aero bar set up. Didn't know it was broken. And even the saddle is pretty good. It's a specialized Mimic. It's got like a little bit of, I don't know what that is going on. It's coming up or something. So, But it's not in too bad a condition. And to my surprise, riding it the past few days, it's actually pretty comfortable. Uh, despite the fact I think it's a ladies uh, saddle, which usually I don't like very much. It's a Sora drivetrain. So back here we got Sora. Up here, of course, it's Sora too. Um, the crank set I thought was actually another item that in the front derailleur is also sore. The crank set I thought looked kind of nice. I don't know too much about FSA, but it's an FSA Omega. Is that what it says? Omega. And it's a external, uh, bottom bracket. So it looked kind of, kind of nice, kind of quality. I like that it's actually aluminum finished rather than painted. A lot of, a lot of stuff is painted nowadays. And even the pedals aren't too bad. These are, uh, flip pedals, so you can ride them flat or clipless. I rode, rode them clipless today to the grocery store and they actually work really good. They seem like the bearings aren't, aren't uh, loose or anything. So that's another nice part that I'll probably keep because actually it was kind of funny when I first um, saw these type of flip type of pedals. I thought it was kind of a gimmick. I was like, oh, that's dumb. But actually um, I have another set and I really like them. So they're a little different than these, but they're flip you know, style. So yeah, I'm happy to have these. I mean, at the end, I think I have a lot of good parts. I like the crank set. I like these. Um, it's a nine speed, so that's pretty good. I like nine speed. Uh, I'm sure the derailleur is fine. I'm sure the brifter setup will be fine. Unfortunately, I don't know about the aero bars. The wheels, not really that su super pumped about them. They're just very, very narrow. So this actually has 23 millimeter uh, tires on the back and it had the same gator skin on the front or gator hard shell on the front, but the tube was uh, 
leaking, so I put a new tube in and I put a 25 millimeter wide uh, tire that I just had. Oh wow, I just noticed that says tubeless. But um, somebody had given me a long time ago, and when I measured it, it really only measured to 24 millimeters, so I think it's a very narrow, well I know it's a very narrow rim. Um, so that's that. The brakes actually work fine. It shifts currently through all the gears fine, no problem. And uh, what else? It has a carbon fork, so I don't know if that's worth having or selling or anything, but carbon fiber fork, aluminum frame. I'll bet the bike itself is actually pretty light, um, being it's butted aluminum, carbon fork. As a matter of fact, uh, I will weigh the bike. I'll go ahead and take these aero bars off, weigh the bike, and uh, let you know how much it weighs. I went ahead and took off the water bottle, the aero bars, and I think that's it. Oh, and a reflector that was on the back, and I weighed it. It's 9.9 .9 kilos, which is actually heavier than I expected. I thought it would be like in the lower nines, but I almost feel bad just parting it out because it's actually a totally functional bike. I rode it today. It actually feels quick because I'm so used to riding my gravel bike on the pavement. It feels fast. I kind of miss that. Um, I don't miss these narrow tires. It's not really that fun. But um, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is actually I have, um, yeah, here it is. I have some bar tape I got a long time ago. I don't really like it that much. It's really thin, kind of cheapy stuff. Um, I think I'm going to put that on over top of this bar tape just so it looks a little bit better. And um, I can get rid of this because I think I'm just going to ride this bike around a little bit until... Uh, until I need the parts for other projects. I don't know. I'll just keep it around a little bit and ride it. It is kind of fun to ride. So anyway, $80. I think I did okay considering the parts. It's not like a, a steel or nothing like some of my other bikes I've bought off uh, Facebook Marketplace, but I think I'm okay with it. Like I said, I can use that saddle or I can sell it. I'll use the brifters. I'll probably use the stem for something someday. It's not a bad looking headset. It's an FSA. I'll probably hold on to that. I like the crank set. Most of the parts I'll keep. The wheels I might try to sell for 10 or $20 online. They're wide men. I, I see these sometimes. What does that say? 18? So maybe that's like 18 millimeter wide. So they're really narrow and they're slightly out of true. So I might try to fix that and see if I can get rid of them. Looks like it was sold from a company called Orange Cycles since 1972 over in Orlando. And I noticed over here that it's a made in China made in China frame, so yeah, there's that. Um, let me know in the comments what I should do with this frame. Uh, I know nobody's gonna want it. I put frames up even for free on Facebook Marketplace before, but all I get is scrappers. Really nobody wants to rebuild bikes like this, so I'll tell you the truth, what I did with two other frames recently, I feel bad about it because I just feel it's so wasteful. I chopped them up and I use them as breaker bars. In fact, this one's extra sad for me, and it took it took me a while to come to actually cutting this one up. This was my first big video on YouTube, this bike. This is my giant ATX 840 that I converted to a road bike, but honestly, the frame itself was pretty hacked up in several ways, and nobody wanted it except for scrappers, so I said, you know what, I'm going to keep this as my giant breaker bar. I, I, it still kind of breaks my heart because I mean I rode this bike like all over the place in Europe. Um, Alp Duez rode up with this. <laughs> I mean I had a lot of good times with that bike so it really hurt me to do that but uh, you know I just can't hang on to stuff like that. This was that one you may have seen in the other video. Um, uh, I grabbed off the trash pile for a part and so yeah I chopped that one up and I used my metal um, cutting saw to make quick work of that. The problem is with these ladies bikes is the problem slash blessing is you can get them really cheap because there's just not that is well not, not that there's not that many but there's less ladies that ride than men so I find you can get good deals on these ladies bikes. In fact my uh, co-op that you've probably seen before on the channel was also a women, women's bike. That one mattered less because it didn't have the pink or anything and it you know like this one's got all this this silly stuff. But um, the bad thing is if you want to sell them, again, it's like super hard to sell, I think anyway, especially being this small. So this is like going to be for somebody, you know, like under five, six or so, probably ideally. Um, so unfortunately, I'm probably just going to scrap the frame 
Um, I hate to do that because it's a perfectly fine frame, but once I take the parts off of it, I know like nobody will give me anything for the uh, for the frame. Not a bad looking seat post either, actually. So I'll be glad to hold on to that. And also about this, another thing is about this uh, aero bar setup. You can see what's going on here. The plastic just cracked. Maybe the bike got dropped or crashed and uh, the plastic is cracked. Somebody tried to pop rivet it back together. Um, let me know if, if I, you know, if you can, if you know, if you can even replace these, I can check on the website and see if it's replaceable or if maybe you think I can try to somehow fix it better than this fix. Um, the pads themselves look pretty decent. They're not not too bad a shape so so I started putting this uh, bar tape over top of the pink bar tape trying to make it like extra soft because I've heard of people doing that I've never done it myself but look at this the bar tape that I have is actually coming apart that's not the sticky part coming off the normal part that's actually like the outside coating coming off the foam part this doesn't have the sticky stuff on it <sighs> I think I'm I'm getting close to being kind of over this super cheap um, bike parts you know I if you've seen my channel for a long time you know I've had like a lot of Walmart bikes and I bought a lot of stuff off, like off of uh, AliExpress um, sometimes it's good like the crank sets I've never had an issue with them but I'm just I don't know overall and it's not just for bike stuff I'm getting kind of sick of this like super low quality stuff like I just I've never used this before probably sat for like a year in my toolbox but I've never opened it and the adhesive is just already falling apart. Hopefully I can salvage it and get this on here, complete the job, but man, that's pretty pitiful. Hey, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And it's super soft. I don't think it's going to last super long because as you, as you saw before, and you can even see it a little bit right there, the carbon fiber, not real carbon fiber, of course, but the carbon fiber looking uh, top skin was separating, is separated from the foam underneath. So I'm sure this is like not gonna last long, but whatever. At least I got rid of it and I have a little bit more space in my drawer, so. Oh yeah, one little trick I did, I didn't have enough tape and it didn't come with that little patch to fill in this little corner. So I actually used a paint marker and just painted the pink uh, tape black. So you can't really tell. And I think that worked pretty good. Yeah, it does, definitely looks better, I think. There's no question it's a, it's a ladies bike still. I mean, there's like pink all over the place, but whatever. I don't have any um, hangups with riding women's bikes. I don't really care. It's all just metal and plastic and rubber anyway. So uh, women's, men's doesn't matter to me. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you think I did good or not so good on this deal. Thanks for watching. Bye.